Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May Love Connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to at least know each other. It could be an ex, it could be someone you have a crush on, you think they like you. Whatever your situation is here, we're going to look into this for you. If you are single and have nobody um, and you're wondering about somebody new coming into your life, I do a singles reading also. All the April uh, singles readings are up, so you can go into my channel, find your uh, love playlist, or check the description box below for your love playlist, and find the singles reading, and you can watch those, or you can watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Please keep in mind, I could also pick, on up, pick up on past present or future energies. Energies can be interchangeable. If it's not your story this time, please don't try to make it fit. Um, may not just be your energy this time. Um, don't leave me negative comments because I will delete them. If it's not resonating for you, it's not resonating. So only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Not every part may resonate, so please do keep, keep that in mind. So let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. Hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy and safe at this time. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. So if you're a new Capricorn, the first thing is a zodiac oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet. See how that plays into your reading. And then I'll pull one of these. This is a new deck for me, the Journey of Love um, Oracle. I'll pull an opening energy in your love connection. And then I'll pull one for you, one for your person. How are you both feeling about each other in the connection? Clarify with tarot. All that energy. And then the actual situation, advice for your connection and possible outcome. And then we'll get some extra messages with this oracle at the end. I go over all the bottoms of the decks. So stay tuned and we'll see what we get for you. Hopefully it'll resonate for you. All right, Capricorn. This is a general collective reading. Keep that in mind. It's not a private reading. So this is for Capricorn, someone rising in Venus, male or female. Watching this spirit, please, for the collective. Ooh. So I have this fall in my lap, but I'm not gonna take that. All right, can we get one card? If you don't resonate with what comes out here, if we get a sign, that is totally fine. All right, one card for Capricorn in love at this time. What's going on? Oh, there we go. We've got Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign of Cancer, or they could have it in their chart, someone rising in Venus, or maybe you have it in your chart. Cancer in the tarot, though, does represent the chariot, which is about positive movement forward. It's drive, it's ambition, it's balance, um, it's victory. So something could be moving forward. All right, if it's not a cancer, it could be that energy of the chariot. All right, so let's get an opening energy, Capricorn, for your connection. This deck is still new. It's the first time I use it. I have gone through it and shuffled it and you know sat with it and everything to get the energy. And I've cleansed it, but they're still kind of sticky. So be patient with the shuffling. All right, for Capricorn spirit, please. One more. What is the connection energy between Capricorn and their person? What is the connection energy between Capricorn and their person at this time? Whoever they're thinking of for this reading, for the collective, someone rising in Venus, in love. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, that one. And we have the cloak. And we have 50, which is 5, which is about change. Now, this cloak uh, is means sort of like a cloak of protection. It's also, um, could be like your protective armor, your shield, your, you know, maybe you could be a little guarded. Um, or one of you here, uh, a little guarded or have walls up, but it's also safe to let that cloak kind of uh, fall away a little bit and be more open. And you can still have your uh, healthy boundaries or you know protective energy, but in a healthy way. And know that cloak is always there for to protect you and uh, be there for you if you need it to be. Could also be a very protective energy between the two of you, like wanting to protect one another, like the cloak of protection. But we have 50 there, which is about five, which is about change or um, challenges of some kind. So maybe it's a challenge for somebody here to let down their guard, let down their walls, not, you know, not to be so protective 
of their heart, of the of their selves here. So maybe that's like a challenge or something that needs to change to drive this forward as with the chariot energy. So we'll see here. So what I'm going to do here, Capricorn, is I'm going to put you here, your person here. But if at any time you feel like the energies need to be changed throughout this reading, please feel free to do that. Only take what resonates. All right. So I'll put that for you, Capricorn. And one for your person. How is Capricorn's person feeling about them and this connection at this time? Spirit, please. Okay, that one. Yeah, so your person here has simplicity, which is four, which is about stable, uh, stability. I think for them to be more stable in a relationship, they have to have like a simplicity to it. Things have to be simple, not complicated. Otherwise, their walls go up. That cloak of protection comes out. Uh, they get guarded kind of energy. So... Let's see how you are feeling. So we have Her Grace, which is 17, which is 8, which is about action, travel, communication. So, so Her Grace, you know, is all about being grateful, graceful, uh, calm, peaceful kind of energy. So maybe you know, you, you know, your person kind of likes things simple. <clears throat> So you're kind of being in a more gracious, graceful, appreciative, um, peaceful energy. Not that I say that you, you know, you let them walk all over you, but, uh, you know, maybe you're just a simple person too. Maybe they feel like, you know, this works for them, you know, that it's, uh, a simple kind of relationship. There's no complications, nobody's high maintenance, nobody's needy, nobody's clingy kind of energy either. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Ancient Ones, which is 52, which is 7. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. We have the Ancient Ones here, which kind of reminds me of, you know, and I've read the book, but I'm going by my intuition and how I'm looking at the cards. So this could be um, ancestors, uh, angels, spirit team, you know, universal energies. Maybe, you know, guiding somebody here, listening to their intuition, getting like downloads, information, maybe even dreams um, about this connection. Could be you or them. Could be you because you, you're in the energy of her grace. So I feel like you're very graceful. You're very peaceful. Uh, this makes sense for you, Capricorn. Or it could be your person. And your person just likes the simple things. They just like it simple. They don't like complications. They don't like high maintenance. They don't like um, needy, clingy, um, or, you know, being dependent and that kind of energy either. Wow, well, okay. So let's see where this is going for you. Capricorn. Capricorn, everything you need to know. Uh, is down in the description box. Please feel free to check that out. Your playlist, how to reach out to personal reading, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check it out. And if you're new and you like how I read, my style, uh, check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month if you do. Thank you. All right. The Capricorn. What is this grace about? Her grace. That's your energy. Or like I said, you can interchange this if you feel like you need to. So Ace of Pentacles. So this is a brand new beginning, divinely guided to growth, stability, long term, built on a firm foundation. So I feel like I feel like you you know this may take a while with them for some reason, because um, I'm seeing like a lot of kind of like dark energy around this cloak. So maybe they had a barrier up. They were defensive, on guard, um, that kind of energy. So, you know, but we do have long term here with the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of stability, growth, expansion for the long term. It's like you kind of know that's coming. Are you wanting to offer that? Or are you waiting for them to offer that? Or this could be just the start of this um, connection. The star. <laughs> wow. Aquarius energy here. So I'm going to say the signs as the cards come out. So if I mention the sign, if they're not a cancer, if I mention their sign, that 
that's great. If if not, you know, it could be anybody. So get, don't get too caught up on the signs, but I know everyone likes to know signs. So we do have Aquarius here. So this is, maybe you feel like you can heal them. Like you're very patient with them. You're willing to take your time with them. I feel like you see a lot in them because you do see the sun there beyond like the dark clouds. Like you know, like deep within them, there's just that burst of sunshine uh, waiting to come out. So, you know, the star here is about divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true, healing energy. So, wow. So you, you feel like this is divinely guided, that maybe you could help to heal them. Um, having that faith, hope, and optimism, it would be a wish, a dream come true to have this long-term uh, new beginning with them. Wow. It's like reaching out. And I just noticed it's like reaching out over here also. All right, so ancient ones, you could have had past lives with this person. It's kind of what I'm getting with that also. All right, so wow. So your person here has simplicity, simplicity. What is that about? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be still holding back a little bit here. Again, you know, Four of Pentacles is about holding back holding on, holding back, not giving, not taking kind of energy. This man looks kind of defensive, just kind of sitting there, you know. So they're in that energy of like holding back, but yet still holding on to the connection, but holding back from it at the same time. All right, so maybe there's something in their stability, their foundation, their finances they're also trying to hold on to also. So what else here for Capricorn's person? Nine of Swords. So stress, fear, worry, anxiety, energy here. Uh, stress. So they're nervous about this. They have some stress and anxiety, fear. That could be why they're still holding back. I feel like they're still kind of holding on to the connection, but they're still holding back also. They have a lot of fears about this. But And I said, uh, here's the sun in the background, but you see that sun within them. You want to bring that out of them or you feel like you could bring that into their life all right so let's see what the actual situation is here for you capricorn 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 knight of wands and ace of cups wow so the knight of wands here um can be leo so very fiery passionate um energy moving forward a lot of drive and ambition so you definitely i feel like want this to move forward a lot of drive ambition passion because you i felt that you believe this is a divinely guided love this is a brand new beginning in love divinely guided a lot of deep emotions feelings wow so let's see i mean this could, love could be moving forward now maybe there's a lot of passion here but they're still yet kind of holding back a little insecure or just scared and then stressed out, nervous. What else here? Now we have the Queen of Wands. So a lot of fire and passion here. So this could be Aries. So there is definitely fire passion between the two of you. You both could have like that drive, ambition in life, go-getter kind of energy. Um, also, it could be male or female energy. Or, you know, they could be a fire sign. All right. Or they could be somebody standing in between the two of you. That could have been a fire sign. If it was something from their past, which made them in this energy about new relationships moving forward. So how that resonates for you. But we do have the Six of Cups here. So, and that's on their side. So they do feel like, they want this long-term, you see the children and then the old couple in the background. So they feel like they want this long-term connection with you, but they're scared, they're stressed, there's fear there, which is making them hold back. Definitely here, um, and I have felt that with the ancient ones that you could have had past lives with this person. Here's the Six of Cups saying past life connection, a soulmate connection. Um, maybe you've known them since childhood, maybe some of you. All right, so one more. 
Page of Pentacles. So here's the offer. They definitely want to offer this pentacle. To and here's the pentacle. Here you're waiting for the for their pentacle, and they have it right here. But there's looking. He's looking that way. He's not even looking your way. So he wants to offer it, but yet he's holding back. As with the four of pentacles energy here. If you have the four and this one, that's five. And five again is about change. Something needs to change here, probably on their part. They need to get over their stress, fairy, fear, worry, anxiety, uh, are having a, a wall up, a guard up, a shield up because of whatever here, whatever their past was, um, or just, I don't know, just having fear about relationships in general, however, you know, your situation is. But they definitely want to offer that. They definitely do feel like they want that long term connection, but. All right, so let's get let's get advice for the situation. So we have the King of Swords energy here, which can be Gemini. So there needs to be truth, clarity, open, honest communication, cutting away of energies and things that are no, lo no longer serving this connection, um, standing up, not backing down kind of energy, so that we can have soulmate union here, two of cups energy, soulmate union. Two people coming together as one. So for this to come into soulmate union, there needs to be open, honest, direct communication, clarity, cutting away of things. All right. What else? Wow. Now we have the king of pentacles. And I just saw justice. Here it is again. So we have a lot of people here. So we have two. We have a fire, an earth, and an air. You are Earth, so this is your energy, King of Pentacles here, which is Virgo, but it can represent Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So this is your energy. And then we have Justice. So whenever I, usually too, whenever I get the King, the Queen, or the Ace of Swords, is sort of like that divine, divine energy, universal energy, shedding truth, clarity, and light on the matter. So I feel like this is for messages for you. Maybe they're going through a divorce or they just have been divorced with the justice card here or something like that. But there needs to be balance and truth and clarity to bring justice into this connection. And it's going to stem from open out communication. Again, cutting the energy is not serving so they can be soulmate union. You may be the one to have to initiate this conversation, this clarity in some way to bring balance and justice. We have Libra energy here too, uh, into this connection. That's your advice. Wow. Okay. So there's been like no communication for a while here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you need to reach out. All right. What else here? What else here? What's a possible outcome here? We do have the five of one. So this is conflict, competition, challenge. So there will be some kind of challenge or conflict or, you know, if you reach out there, it may cause a little bit of conflict here. But what will happen? Maybe a good thing though. So what else here? Seven of cups, which may cause confusion. Oh, may ca cause confusion or, um, People weighing out options, choices, decisions. What else for the possible outcome here for Capricorn? Six of Wands, but there is success and victory here. So, you know, it may ruffle some feathers. Like if you speak up and very open and honest, there may be a little, you know, bickering or conflict or confusion. But ultimately, I feel like, you know, clearing the path, clearing the way, Having the clarity is going to bring in success with the Six of Wands with this uh, connection. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. Yeah, someone needs to take the lead, control, charge. This is Aries energy uh, of this situation. So we can close out chapters, start new chapters in this uh, connection. Having closure. New cycles. Could be traveling also. Ten of Wands. So somebody needs to lay down a burden here. Five of Pentacles. So someone's feeling, you know, left out in the cold and lonely. 
So someone needs to communicate here with the Eight of Wands, fiery, passionate communication, online or texting, whatever here. So someone needs to communicate. And here's a chariot. I kid you not. Here's a chariot. And I knew it was going to show up to drive this connection forward. Because right now, nobody's saying anything. Everyone's just sitting in their corners, four cups of energy, feeling bored, complacent, melancholy, and not doing a damn thing. Feeling sad and lonely. When, again, and here's that divine energy with the Ace of Swords or the truth of the matter. There needs to be truth, clarity. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. Open, honest, truthful communication, epiphany, aha moments, uh, sword of victory and success. So there can be victory and success in this passionate connection if there's truth and clarity to balance out the scales and bring justice because there's sad loss here. Bored, melancholy, not taking any action, but to drive this forward in this chariot, cancer energy, again, there needs to be communication. You know, people are just like leaving each other out in the cold here, needing to, you know, let down burdens or release burdens or speak, you know, your truths if this is burdening you so that we can have closure or start a new chapter, close out chapters if someone needs to take control of the situation. So we do have uh, the fixed signs here, which is Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. Wow. Okay. It's a lot of energy. So I feel like, whew, I feel like your person, or it could be you, somebody here has a guard up. Uh, maybe they went through something in the past, a divorce or something, or a bad relationship. So now they're kind of, or maybe they've just been always kind of nervous about relationships in general for some reason. And uh, needs to be communication to drive this forward. Clearing the air. Maybe a little bickering and confusion, but ultimately clearing this energy out will lead to success and victory. And we did have that Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, love, clarity, there's passion, past life, soulmate. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's get some extra messages for you extra messages for you Capricorn in this connection let's get some extra messages for you Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus extra messages for Capricorn spirit please thank you so much getting clear of the air the air needs to be clear clear of the air that's what I'm getting all right Insight, 13, 4. 4 is about stability, foundation. So shedding insight, gaining insight on this connection. Voicing your thoughts, insight. So whatever you're feeling, trust your gut, your intuition. Maybe you need to get, gain new perspectives, a different way of looking at things. And there's the shedding of the light. See the light beaming out. So shedding light on this situation, clearing the air, and uh, maybe bringing like a whole new way of thinking, communicating, or insight on this connection, if that makes sense. What else here? It's like awakening, knowing kind of energy also. It kind of reminds me of the star energy here. Color. And we have 40 there, which is four, which has been, again, about stability foundation. And I, I feel like you, you know, if they're still kind of like in a dark energy, and I feel that over there, but you know deep down, you know, the deep colors that they have within them that you want to bring forth. Again, I felt with the sun energy, and we see the heart there. It's like you want to open, I feel like you want to open their heart to like a um, whole new color of love, of life. If their past was dark, it's like you want to uh, give them a whole new, like you want to color their world. <laughs> All right, so what else here? And I'm just noticing the light on you, Capricorn, and then the light back here. Any other messages for Capricorn? Capricorn. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. Vespa Piscis? 26, which is 8. 
which is about travel action communication and i'm just seeing like the infinity symbol here again could have had past lives with this person through infinity and i see the heart like your hearts are like forever intertwined and here's the light shedding light clearing the air insight see all the light here with the heart i think your hearts will always be connected in through space through time infinity wow okay so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck soul journey nine which is about uh completions coming to a completion and ending of some sort so they could definitely be on a heavy soul journey here because i'm seeing that darkness again like in this card so there's something maybe just within their soul uh, that needs to be healed for, you know, for some reason, if maybe they have emotional problems or something like that. And it's definitely a soul journey here for them. But I do see uh, clearing the air could bring uh, victory in this connection, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.